Sunderland 1, Liverpool 1. What does they want to say? Same old story as last season. We cannot score. I know we scored today, but that was a from a mistake. I mean, anyone can score that. What is there more to say? We've hit the bar, we hit the post from Glenn Johnson and Steven Gerrard. I'm really worried because we've got Manchester United next to Anfield. Doesn't get any better, does it? Any Liverpool fans watching, saying, uh, just stay positive, stay positive. Just shut up, seriously. Uh, we all know what we want from a football club. We want success. We want success. Success is the name of the game. You look at Man United now, they've been really successful. Man City are starting to become successful. We're Liverpool. We're just, we're just another stomping ground for other clubs now. I'm being perfectly honest. We're just another stomping ground. Anfield is a stomping ground. The team is a stomping ground. No one can score. Except if it's from a mistake. We can't score. Same old story as last year. Hit the woodwork. That's it, really. And I just want to point out as well that other clubs have showed respect. The Hillsborough report, which was released earlier this week, and I'm very happy about that because other teams want justice as well. And I've heard as well at Old Trafford today when Manchester United beat Wigan 4-0 uh, at Old Trafford that um, some fans, some sick fans, have been chanting about Hillsborough again. When will Man United fans learn? And if you comment on this video saying how hypocritical I am about Hillsborough or Liverpool fans ch chanting about Munich, then I'm not, I don't tolerate that as well, okay? If you chat with comment on this video saying I'm hypocritical, then just go away, seriously. Because when Liverpool fans chant about Munich, then I don't tolerate that at all. It's an embarrassment. It's the same for Man United who chant about Hillsborough. It's an embarrassment to the club. And uh, back to the match, um, Sunderland scored with uh, Stephen Fletcher, um, it was a good goal to be honest, but shocking defending from Liverpool and Martin Skirt, who's normally very reliable, but our goal, Suarez, was just a tapping, it was just a tapping, that's how we scored, and fair play, we did play well, we did play well, I gotta, I gotta say, we did play well, but... It's the same old story when Dalglish was in charge last year. We just can't score. Um, we've hit the post. We've hit the bar. I don't know what to say. Um, I gotta say, if they lost that game today, I would have. I would have been so angry. I would have made this video ranting. Honestly, I would have made this video a rant because I'm sick and tired of watching this team uh, lose games that they should win. I'm sick and tired of that, I really am, because when you support a top club, you want them winning, you want them successful, Liverpool, ever since the 70s and the 80s and the glory days, they've gone downhill, Manchester United have gone uphill, I'm sick and tired of supporting this club, uh, when they keep losing, keep drawing and never winning any games, I'm sick and tired of it, I just want them to win games, that's all I want them to do. I know it's difficult, I'm not saying it's easy, but still, we're a top club, you've got good players, just put the ball in the back of the net, seriously, okay, and um, that's all I want to say, and God help us, next week against Man United, if we beat them, I'll be ecstatic, but I don't see us beating them, to be honest, and um, Liverpool fans, if you're watching this, as always, you'll never walk alone, and... Justice for the 96, goodbye.